Okay, you guys, it's Chuck Machado here, and I'm going to show you how to use a, one of the coolest programs on the, uh, on the Internet. If you're trying to rank uh, anywhere on the first page of Google, you, there are certain SEO tools that you just have to have. You can't do this kind of stuff um, you know, without these tools. And the problem is there's so much junk on the market that um, I would say 90%, uh, maybe even 95% of them just aren't worth the money that you spend on them. This particular one isn't very expensive. I think it's, uh, I don't think it's a uh, hundred dollars, I'm not sure. But um, it's, uh, it's worth every penny. You're gonna see why in a minute. It's called a web page analyzer. It was uh, developed by a guy named uh, Jason Kazenbach. And um, he's uh, just one of the really smart guys on the internet. So this is the page on uh, how it looks when you get started. What you wanna do is you wanna put your, uh, URL in there. You want to put your keyword phrase in here. You want to click the view button here just to make sure that you're working on the right website. I can't tell you how many times I've done this and uh, you know I've been on the wrong website. So yeah this is it. This is what we're going to be working on. I just built this so I haven't done any work to it. I haven't SEO'd it. Uh, you know you, you can see it's, it's all pretty raw. Um, I don't see, uh, well, I do see the H, H2 tag in here. These are H3 tags. Um, increased website traffic, that's supposed to be in bold. That's good. I don't see it in italics. It's supposed to be in italics also. We'll see if the program picks that up. Um, I don't see a lot of uh, keyword density in here. I might be wrong. But increased website traffic, um, that's my keyword phrase. So I'm looking for a lot of density. I'm looking for... Oh, it should be in here three, four times. It's got to be, uh, I try and shoot for about one and a half to two percent, something like that. But um, we'll find out. I, uh, we'll find out. So let's get rid of that. Actually, we can close that out. Um, what we want to do here is we want to click uh, Find Keywords. And um, that's going to be something that's really important. Google uses something called latent semantic indexing, and I'm going to teach you a little bit about that. If the site's brand new, don't worry about uh, the, your backlink count. If it's been up for a while, then by all means click that so you can see where your backlinks are coming from. Um, when you click Analyze here, you're going to have an opportunity to go to the uh, uh, just the USA uh, Google network or you can pick another country if you want. That's also very cool. We're going to stay with the US right now. We click Analyze. It's going to go through, kind of crunch about 12 different, 13 different things, and it's going to let us know how well we're doing um, from the eyes of Google. And there's a lot of things that you just have to do, and uh, you know, you, there's no shortcuts to this, but uh, this sure makes it a lot easier instead of trying to have to figure it out like, uh, like we were doing earlier. Our goal here is to have um, 100, and as you can see, we don't have 100, we have 52. Um, so uh, here's today's date, the 23rd, and um, here's our site, our keyword phrase. Uh, you can see here that uh, we got a little problem, we don't have uh, any meta uh, description um, in there, it's zero. Um, it's supposed to be between 100 and 155 characters. Um, our meta description, um, obviously, if it's zero, we don't have our keyword in there. Uh, we got the uh, our meta our, our tags aren't in there. Um, let's see, yeah, not too bad actually. You know the. Uh, I, I expected it to be a lot worse. So here's that italicized thing I was talking about. Um, we have to italicize that keyword. Um, and here is our keyword density. Um, it's apparently not up to snuff. It should be between 1 and 5 percent. And you can see down here that it's 0.32. So we have a total of 1330 words and we're going to have to kick that up a few notches. So we start with a title tag. Our title tag has 10 words in it. If it's in yellow, that's not good. I mean, it's right caution right on the edge. So we probably need to uh, drop that down to nine words. 
Um, we do have a frequency of 1, which is good in the title tag. So it's given us a score of 100. And what we want to try and do is we want to try and get all these over here to be about 100. And um, then they go through a complicated formula, and that's how you end up with 100 up here. Um, I only have a couple sites that are 100. If I can get to uh, somewhere around 85 to 90, I'm thrilled. And I have uh, one site right now that's uh, on the first page of Google. It's in position 5. Um, it's only scored 80 on this particular scale. But there's like 42 million uh, sites trying to compete for that uh, keyword. So, um, you know, I'm thrilled to be number 5. Of course, I'm shooting to get uh, up to number 1. And um, it's taken me six months, but um, I'll, I'll get there soon. Um, here we got the H1 tags, which we have a an H1 tag. That's very good. That gives us a score of 100. H2 tag over here. Um, we also have one. That's very good. You only want one. You don't want a bunch of H2 tags. Alt tags should be one. We have two. We're going to have to take one out. Um, alt tags are uh, what are attached to uh, images. Um, the URL here, um, like I said a little bit earlier, uh, Google gives um, uh, prominence to websites that have the keyword phrase as part of the URL. So you can see up here our URL is increased website traffic and our keyword phrase is increased website traffic. Um, sometimes to do this you have to put a hyphen in there, sometimes you have to add something on the back end. There's all kinds of strange things that you have to do sometimes, but uh, it's worth it. Uh, down here we get into the uh, latent semantic indexing that I referred to earlier. And what this basically means is you want to make sure that all of these keyword phrases right here are on your page. Don't try and second guess Google and say, well, you know, my site isn't about that or um, it doesn't make any difference. The reason is Google's got a whole bunch of smart guys and they put together um, some computer models and um, robots that understand that expert sites have certain words and they continue to have these certain words and keyword phrases on the page. So if you're going to be considered an expert, if you want to be up there uh, on page one, anywhere on page one, but especially in the first th four or five, you have to have these also on your site because Google recognizes that, yes, in fact, this is important. And so we're going to have to go through those 1,330 words, and we're going to have to change them around a little bit and make sure we incorporate all this stuff. We want all these to be green. That's what you want. And um, that's basically it. When I'm finished with this, um, you're going to see this is going to be uh, uh, quite a bit higher. And uh, I think you're, you're just going to absolutely love this, uh, this software, and I, I highly encourage you to get it.